Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the problems on doubling time of microorganism. So first we will see what is doubling time. Okay, This is the time taken by the microorganism for its cell division to occur. It is known as doubling time Okay, or it is also known as generation time. This cell division exponentially takes place in log or exponential phase. Okay, Whereas in lag phase there is no cell division. And in lag phase, the cells are metabolically active and there will be an increase in cell size. Okay. After the lag phase, microbial cells enter the exponential phase. And in this phase only, the cells are dividing by binary fission and doubling in number after each generation time. Okay. And in stationary phase, the number of dividing cells equals the number of dying cells. Here also cell division takes place, but the number of dividing cells equals the number of dying cells. So, there is no overall population growth in this phase. So, there is no net growth. Okay. And in death phase, as nutrients become less available and waste product is increasing, so the number of dying cells continue to rise. Then we can mathematically describe the cell growth during the exponential phase, stationary phase, death phase. As there is no cell growth in lag phase, so there is no uh, mathematical expression for the lag phase. So the mathematical expression for log phase is dx divided by dt is equal to mu x, okay, where x is the cell concentration and mu is specific growth rate. Okay. And mathematical expression for stationary phases dx divided by dt is equal to 0 because there is no net growth in this phase. And in death phase the expression is dx divided by dt is equal to minus kd into x. Here kd is specific death rate. Okay. So now let us see how to derive the equation or formula for doubling time. So, to, de to derive the equation for, do for doubling time, we have to consider the mathematical expression in the exponential phase. That is dx divided by dt is equal to mu x. Okay, so just rearrange this equation. dx divided by x is equal to mu into dt. Then you integrate the equation dx divided by x is equal to mu integration of dt. So, you will get the answer ln of x is uh, then the uh, condition is x0 to xt is equal to mu t. So, if you uh, apply the limits, we will get ln xt minus ln x0 is equal to mu t. That is equal to ln of xt divided by x0 is equal to mu t. Okay, where t is time. The time t is equal to doubling time. Okay, so doubling time, you are concentration at any time t xt is equal to 2 into x0, x0 that is initial concentration of your cell mass. Okay, so doubling time, your concentration will double. Okay, so ln of, so you now just substitute this uh, condition in the equation. So ln of 2 x0 divided by x0 is equal to mu into t d that is here you have to substitute t is equal to t d so t d is equal to ln 2 divided by mu that is t d is equal to the final equation 0 0.693 divided by mu okay so you should remember this formula to calculate the doubling time that is t d is equal to 0 0.693 divided by mu then you are you can easily solve the problem Okay, our first problem is if the specific growth rate of the microorganism is 0 0.25 half power minus 1, find out its doubling time. So, the given data are mu is equal to that is specific growth rate is equal to 0.25 half power minus 1 asking doubling time TD. So, we know that the formula for TD is equal to 0 0.693 divided by mu. Just substitute the given data in the formula. So, TD is equal to 0 0.693 divided by mu is equal to 0.25 half power minus 1. So, the answer is 2.772 hour. Okay. The second problem is the specific growth rate of a yeast having a doubling time of 0 0.693 hour rounded off to nearest integer is dash half power minus 1. So, here the given data, so they have given doubling time. Okay, doubling time TD is equal to 0 0.693 hour. And they are asking what is specific growth rate. 
okay so the formula for uh, doubling time as td is equal to 0 0.693 divided by mu we just uh, rearrange this so mu is equal to 0 0.693 divided by t and substitute the given data in the equation so mu is equal to 0 0.693 divided by td td is also 0 0.693 so td 0 0.693 r so that is equal to 1 half minus 1 so you